So I'm sitting here at my dining room table. My kids are at Walmart with my husband for who knows how much longer. Um, but I want to talk about my guilt over not posting, uh, my guilt over not creating, not really content, but just for myself. I love creating. It brings me a sense of satisfaction, a sense of peace, a sense of fulfillment. Um, and I've been without that for about a year now, and it's been really, really rough, very rough mentally, emotionally, and physically. And I want to talk about motherhood because those two things for me go together like peanut butter and jelly. So this is just going to be a really chatty video um, about me talking about my life. And I want to talk about guilt, creativity, and motherhood and how these three things have just become a source of my anxiety and stress and how I am working on overcoming that. So I'll give a quick recap and then go into the details. First of all, um, <clears throat> as you guys know, I've said it in videos before, if you've seen some of my recent ones on this channel, I have two children. I don't have a lot of time to make videos. Um, and also on the other hand of that, I feel a lot of guilt about this because I am a creative person, not just for my viewers, I do want to create content for them because I like pleasing people, I love creating things, I love the idea that people love what I create, but I also find a lot of fulfillment and satisfaction and stress relief in creating things, in knitting and crocheting and even watercolors. I love the watercolor if you didn't know. Um, I find a lot of relaxation in this and when I don't have time to create and I don't have time to make things. I get very stressed, anxious, and I am not a very joyful or happy person to be around. So how does this relate to motherhood? As I said, I have two children. I am an attachment parent. <clears throat> I do believe that children are people and they deserve the same respect as that you would give to an adult and that their emotions are real emotions and deserve acknowledgement. With my son, I was able to start creating videos again. I think he was around nine months old. He was my firstborn. He's now three and a half. Um, he's a pretty well-adjusted, well-behaved child. You know, he throws the occasional tantrum. He is very emotional. Um, but he can watch TV. I can have him watch 30 minutes of TV. I don't feel bad about that. Um, he can play quietly by himself. I can even let him go play outside on our porch by himself. Um, my daughter, however, is a different story. Now, she was a completely different baby than my son in many different ways, but the one thing she does that just has become a, a source of this frustration and contributed to me not having time to be creative is that she wants to nap on me. I'm literally her bed. She wants to sleep on me all night, too. Um, my son, of course, wanted to do this, and it is part of attachment parenting, giving your children a safe place to sleep, um, wherever that may be, the crib, their own bedroom, their own, where, wherever your child wants to sleep. I want to fa facilitate myself getting the most sleep because sleep's important to your mental health, like really important. So I want to get the most sleep and I want my kids to get the most sleep. So I want to sleep well. So I want to sleep where they will sleep and I will sleep the most, which for both of my kids for the first year has been attached to me. But my son around, I would say around one, he started to move away. He would roll over. I could place him in our crib, which is side card to our bed. Um, and now he sleeps, um, he sleeps in his own room now. Um, my daughter, however, has not shown any inclination of wanting to be away from me. And um, she is 15 months old now. So she just wants to be attached to me all night. Sometimes she wants to nurse for hours. Hours, I'm not, I'm not joking about that. Literally, she will start nursing. It'll be like 30 minutes. I will try to pull away or like disengage her very slowly and gently and still keep her snuggled up to me so she can sleep and I can sleep. And she will cry, wake up, and need to nurse for another 30 minutes. And then... 
I will try to fall asleep while she's still nursing and I'll wake up, I don't know how long later, and she'll still be nursing and my boob will be like, I am very empty and this hurts. <laughs> but the thing I have struggled with the most is guilt. <clears throat> guilt over not having time to pursue my passions and the guilt has turned into stress because <clears throat> creating things and being this creative person is a form of stress relief and a form of relaxation for me and a form of self-care and I don't have a lot of time to do it between my children who are very demanding we don't do preschool I'm not going to do preschool we want to keep our kids home it's a priority to us um, and my own chronic illnesses I have celiac disease and other gut issues where I have to cook everything at home I have to exercise twice a day for my insulin resistance um, so I have some pretty big health issues that I'm dealing with that take up a lot of my time and then my kids take up a lot of my time but I'm learning that I need to make time for what I love I need to make time for what I'm passionate about and what promotes rest and restorative peace in my life like I need to make that a priority for my own joy and my own mental health so I want to start making videos here again because I love it. I love it. It brings me peace and joy. It helps me relax. But I'm not sure how to do that with two children and chronic illnesses. So we're going to see what happens. Um, I have tried different forms of videos before. Like I've tried making fashion videos back when I was pregnant with my son and a little bit before that. I've tried making like story time videos. I've tried making different kinds of videos and those are fine and great, but what really, really brings me joy and what really makes me happy and content is knitting and crochet and fiber art videos, like crafting videos. Like that's where my passion really is. So I'm gonna try to make time for that and to do that and um, see what happens. And I can't say that there won't be a lot of children screaming in the back of the video, but we're going to give it a shot. I'm going to try to film right here where the camera is, but pointed down at my kitchen table. That way my child will not be trying to sit on it and my son won't be trying to go bleh in front of the camera like he does if you watch our vlogging channel. He loves to make faces in front of the camera and get very close to it. He's adorable. Hmm. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that having children is very hard. Having chronic illnesses is very hard. And don't let hard things take away what brings you rest and joy and peace. And that's what I've learned in the past three years of surviving two small children. And we want to have more children. I want to be blessed more by God. If you guys don't know my story, I have struggled with miscarriages. That's how I found out about my chronic illnesses. So I, I'm 100% not blaming my kids for this. Like they are young, it's okay for me not to have a lot of time to create. Um, but for me, I need to make a little bit of time to create just for my own rest and my own peace. So that's an update video and I will see you guys later. Bye.